Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about skipping rows in Data Factory in Copy Data activity when the source file is CSV. So to understand the requirement, I have this input and the output data set here. So on the left side, you could see that in the source CSV, we have the columns, okay, from A to G, along with these two extra rows at the top mentioning some information about this data, this first row and the second row, the date. Okay. But in the output, we are not interested to take these first two rows. Okay. And we want the data to start from ID that is the third row in the output data set. So how to achieve this in ADF using copy data activity. So we'll go to the data factory and create a new pipeline. Let's name it as skip rows in CSV copy activity because it is copy activity based skipping. Next what we'll do is we'll take the copy activity. Okay. So in the copy activity we have this general tab and then comes the source tab. So we have to connect to the source data set. The source data set, this data set, which I have shown you in the Excel, I've already placed it in the container inside the test input folder as input skip header rows dot CSV. Let's try to preview it here. Okay. So this is the same data. Okay. We'll go back to the data factory and in the copy activity, we will connect to this data set. So it's inside the Gen2 storage account as a CSV, so delimited text, continue. Let's name it as input CSV for skip rows. Link service already present and the file path we will traverse through test input. And the file name is input skip header rows dot csv. Click over it. Click OK. So the file path is set. We'll click on the option first row as header. Here itself we can do or if it is missed here, we can do it in the data set level when we open this data set. Okay. To edit. Import schema. Not required. None. Then we'll click on OK. So this is so you could see that after setting the source data set, other options also appeared here. Okay. So let's first preview the data. So here you can see the data is the same as the input data set. So the data looks fine here in the CSV. Since we have checked the first row as header, this row, which was this first row, it is treated as header and rest of the rows were blank so the default values are popping up prop 1 2 3 4 5 okay so we'll close it here and then we'll go down and you could see the option skip line count skip line count stands for skipping the rows so here we can either type the values or we can just click over this up arrow to increase the number okay it will start from 1 onwards. So since I have given here 2, now what happens is that it will skip the 2 rows. It is Since it is starting from here, the very first row, so it will skip first row, second row and the third row will be the output. So let's preview the data because we have given the skip line count as 2. So the third row has become the header and this is what we desired in the output data set. So this looks fine. Okay. Next, we'll go to the sync. And in the sync, we'll connect to the same storage location. I want to create another CSV as skip rows CSV output. Link service already in place. So same, the same link service. And this time the storage 
location folder will be test output. Click OK. None. First row has header. Click OK. Another OK. So this is done. So the sync setting is also done. Now we'll go back to the source. What we did, we connected to the data set. We have check marked the first row as header. So it will be counted as header. Then whatever number of rows we have to skip, we have under the source settings, skip line count. We will select those many lines from here, okay, to be skipped or removed from the input. Now we will validate and we'll publish the changes. And let's perform a debug run. The debug run is in progress for this copy data activity. We will wait for it to finish and then we'll go to the storage location in the test output folder. So let's go to the containers and this was the folder we selected for landing the file. So here you could see that the copy data activity debug run has completed and since at the sync level we have selected the data set and in the file extension by default it is txt the file generated will be in txt so and the file generated will be in txt with the same name as the input file name so we'll click on this txt output file go to the edit section and since it is a txt txt we cannot preview it correctly so we'll go back and give it the extension as csv this time at the sync level and again perform a debug run So this also succeeded. We'll go back here and click on refresh. So another file input skip header rows dot CSV this time is generated. And we'll go this time to the edit. So we could see the CSV file over here. This time we have generated a CSV. Let's try to download the CSV. Open it. And we could see the expected data landed here with the desired row as header. So we'll go to the scenario. So this was a very simple demonstration of how we can skip rows in a CSV input file using copy data activity. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning to all. Bye.